I'm Ryan McGraw and I'm a disability rights activist and a yoga teacher and, and a person with a disability. Awesome. So, uh, what is something you would like your healthcare provider to know about your experience getting or trying to get health care you need? Well, uh, last year when I filled out the application for the health care marketplace, it said I qualified for Medicaid. I was sent a Letter in in January, I believe, saying my case was done under review. I did not receive my next letter till May, saying that I was denied off of Medicaid managed care. However, in the meantime, um, I did um, manage to secure health insurance from the marketplace that did cost me a sum of money. Unfortunately, I was able to pay for that. Mid-August, so anyways, but that doesn't end there. In August, I received another letter saying I did qualify for Medicaid. On August 19th of this year, however, Eight months had went by when I received the letter. The, the, um, the medical insurance didn't, doesn't, is still not in effect. My Medicaid, it goes into effect October 1st. Now, if I didn't work, I couldn't afford money from the, in, I mean, I couldn't afford insurance from the marketplace. How do they expect people on SSI making a little over $700 a month? to wait 10 months for medical insurance. I think this is a great example of why we should have universal health and health care and medical for all because people can't wait especially people with disabilities can't wait 10 months to be in for a decision. It goes to the lack of care and compassion by the state of Illinois. It goes to the lack of continuity of services by the state and it's just bullshit. And so what would you say to your health care providers about how getting or not getting the health care you need can impact your life as a person with a disability? Well, I have issues with my um, digestive system which have required me to go into the hospital 
um, three times, um, I mean, it goes without saying because the hospital stays out exorbitant, um, and I shouldn't have to be worried about should I or shouldn't I go to the emergency room. I also have Addison's disease, which means my adrenals don't work. And if I, if I, if I, um, go into an crisis because of that, I need the medical, medical assistance I need without worry of have how much it is going to cost me.